Welcome back to the channel, the EAM Crypto channel. And uh, I was almost not going to do today's video because I uh, pissed someone off, but I'll get into all that in a little bit. Uh, but first things first, thank you guys so much for all the support. Really, really appreciate it. I think the uh, our community is now two months old. We're now about six. We're at 665 subscribers. So definitely, if you like the uh, content, if you like the things that we've been doing, the videos, please join our community. Uh, happy to have you join. The bigger we get, the more uh, pull we have. So I've, I've noticed that as the, as the channel keeps growing, the more and more some of the projects reach out back to me or reach out to me. Um, and it's going to create a lot of opportunities for us with whitelist spots and all sorts of cool things. So um, definitely join our growing community. We're trying to get to a thousand as soon as possible. Uh, so just real quick, guys, not a financial advisor. Everything that I cover is for fun and entertainment. And uh, yeah, I wanted to talk in today's video about Titano. Um, but first, I um, did want to just bring up the fact that... Um, and I'm not gloating or I'm not saying I told you so or anything like that. But just to all, all of you out there that uh, gave me a pretty hard time when I stated that Pals could be a rug pull or I thought was going to be a rug pull. I'm not saying I told you so. But for all of you guys that sent me those kind of uh, kind of angry emails or DMs or uh, comments. Look guys, I was just trying to protect you guys and protect the community. If, if something kind of felt kind of suspicious, my spidey sense just said, hey, this project looks kind of off. Um, and that's why I said from the start that I thought I did a video where I did call it a rug pull uh, a few weeks ago and then they, they hadn't rug pulled so then I thought well maybe it's not going to be a rug pull but it still feels kind of off. I feel like their team is very small and just a lot of things fell off with Palace. So, um, so again, not gloating, not saying I told you so, we're not going to do that here, but just wanted to bring that up and, and, and my intentions are, are, are pure. I want you guys to protect your crypto so that's why I was alerting you about Palace. So I wasn't trying to you know, be a FUD uh, creator and, and upset people. And uh, I guess that's a good way to se segue into today's video. So um, you guys had asked, uh, a few of you guys uh, emailed me or DM me asking, hey, when are you going to do the one month update with Titano? Sorry that I've been a little late to that. <coughs> I think I'm about 10 days late. So I'm gonna, I am gonna—I wanted to keep my word and do it. It's just going to be not a one month update, but a little bit over a one month update. So I'm going to show you the spreadsheet showing the rebase tokens versus the initial token. However, I did want to say that I almost did not do today's video um, because I did upset David from the Titano team. I uh, reached out to him in Discord. He had commented on a couple of my videos. Um, nice comments just saying thanks for the videos, whatever. So, you know, he, he has his um, um, he has his eye out for all things Titano, which is cool. And he's doing a good job. But I did reach out to him in Discord. Um, I did ask him a couple of not softball questions, not too tough questions. And I don't know what happened, but he uh, responded in a pretty upset way. He made it very, very clear he's not a fan of mine. Um, he doesn't appreciate that I cover Titano Forks. Um, he said that I, I've spawned all these Titano Fork videos, which I thought was funny. Uh, you know, our community is still quite small. It's only two months old. We're still not even at a thousand subscribers. Um, and he said that I'm the one that started. And, and I guess he is a little correct. I am the first one that did videos on on um, on, on Uranus. And now if you click Uranus Crypto, there's going to be a few dozen videos now on them. Um, I think I was maybe the first to do one on Poseidon. Can't remember. Um, but I just thought it was weird that he was so upset with me. He, so he made it very clear he's not a fan of mine. That he doesn't condone me doing anything related to Titano. Uh, but I'm still going to do this video because at the end of the day, I am a fanboy of the Titano project. I am. I think their Discord group is really cool. I've talked to a lot of guys inside the Discord. Uh, I think they have a really cool community. Um, I think the project itself is innovative. It's new. It's something fresh that crypto could really use. And I'm just a fanboy of the project. And even if David doesn't approve of my videos, look, whatever, guys. He David didn't. And, and I guess he's the face of um, Titano. Well, no, you're not the face, David, because you're not Doc. So I guess you're the voice of Titano. But um, yeah, I mean, he, he didn't create this project. He, he jumped into it and is now handling the marketing for him. He's not the creator. He's not the genius behind Titano. So if he tells me he's not a fan of mine, um, I mean, whatever. I'm still, if I decide to do a video on Titano, I'm going to do it, especially because I'm a holder. Uh, a very small holder, as, as I've shown you guys on, on my videos, but but still, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna do my thing, and I'm gonna be objective and transparent, and just like I was with Palace. And look, guys, I've turned down so many offers just in two months from projects saying, "Hey, we'll pay you X amount or give you X amount if you do a video." 
I've been doing nothing but saying no um, uh, to almost every single one, right? Um, and and I'm going to keep doing it if I don't think it's a strong project. So, um, but with Titano, I just want to make it very, very clear. I think it's a great project. I think I'm just a huge fanboy of what they're doing. I wish them the best. And if uh, David feels that I shouldn't be doing videos on them or doesn't condone it, is, is it anything of that I do, um, well, it is what it is. He has his opinion and I have mine. So anyways, um, I guess you guys are wondering what it was that I asked him. And I think my questions were fair. Um, so what I asked them is, and again, I am a fan of this project. I'm not anti-Titano, but I did notice a couple things. So um, the holder, so I asked them about the holder numbers because of the fact that if you look at the price of Titano today, which is nine cents, it's about two cents less than when I first started hearing about Titano and bought in and all that good stuff. And their holder number at the time was, I think, about 12 or 13,000. And if we look at the number of holders now, it's almost 30,000. So my question was, well, if your holder number has like 2.5x, but your price has gone down, that's obviously showing me. I'm not a, I'm not a developer. I'm not a Titano expert, Titano fork expert or any of that stuff. Um, but I told him, hey, that tells me that your asset is experiencing some serious, serious sell pressure. So what are you going to do to combat that? How do you feel about that? Is this a long-term thing? Is this a short-term thing? Because it could be a number of things. Just because this sell pressure is going on right now doesn't mean that it's going to be happening forever. Um, you know, I remember back in like 2018 uh, when TRX, remember guys, Tron, I think it had this huge sell wall at like two cents and it took forever, forever to, to get over it. And once it did, you know, early 2018, I think got up to like 23 cents or something crazy like that. So it could be one of those things where there's a ton of sell pressure right now for the Titano asset and it's going to blow through it in time because it's so freaking popular. Um, so um, I was just going to, so I just wanted to hear his answer. He never answered that. I also asked him another question uh, in regards to, hey, I understand that, you know, it was just more about, hey, what would it take as far as like volume? For you not to be able to meet your goals as far as um to meet your goals as far as uh you know not being able to uh not having to use the treasury to meet the daily rebase and and he didn't really answer that either he just went on just basically kind of attacked me to be quite honest um so again i and and i guess he didn't like it that i've been covering titano forks he thought that i was doing a disservice to titano the titano community by covering titano forks and that I was basically hurting his noble cause were his exact words. And I, I, I disagree, uh, but whatever. But again, to anyone watching this, it's a Titano holder, part of the Titano community. Um, I am a fan and I am rooting for this project 100% uh, because I think what you guys are doing is really, really cool. And you know, anyone that knows where this is gonna lead to in six, 12 months um, is probably, a, uh, can probably see the future because I have no idea what's gonna happen. This could be the start of something huge which would be really cool, or it cannot. It could turn out to be one of those things where the sell pressure on this type of protocol is too much to overcome, but I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just bringing up different things that pop into my head um, that I think should be covered, and I think it's important to have these discussions so that we can all be better at investing and all that good stuff. So, um, sucks that I upset someone that um, uh, whose project I, uh, I'm such a big fan of, but it is what it is. So, just real quick, I did want to show my spreadsheet uh, that I had showed on the previous video. So my previous video uh, where I did, I guess, my one week uh, update, um, I think it has about 25, 2600 views by now, um, seemed to have been pretty popular. And I think a lot of people like the spreadsheet. So I thought, well, let's, let's do it again. Um, so yeah, um, if you look at the spreadsheet, uh, my, my in amount on, on what I'm doing with this, this, this part of my Titano holding, was that I bought in for $150. Um, I did it when it was about 11 cents, I think, or a little bit over 11 cents. And as you guys can see, I only had uh, 1,266 tokens. And yeah, I mean, uh, you know, almost a month and a half later, here we are. Um, and despite the fact that the price has dropped, <coughs> I mean, I'm still up on the investment that I'd shown. And what's really cool is just to see some of these numbers. I mean, my rebase versus initial token percentage is almost 1.2. Wow. The percentage of tokens that are rebase is over 54%. 
my next rebase so every 30 minutes i'm going to get almost 1.1 tokens which is really easy you just multiply your total tokens uh times uh point uh zero three nine five eight percent and that's you know almost two to two to over two tokens per hour um a day that's like 50 tokens and you know in five days will be 55 tokens per day so i mean this part of it looks really cool so for anyone that holds titano if the project survives and the price just kind of stays around the same this thing is amazing because this is just going to keep compounding and compounding and compounding and that's how you can get those crazy returns so just wanted to show the spreadsheet and show that yeah i mean with the rebases they've never missed a rebase um it looks really really good so i think it's really cool they're doing a lot of cool innovative things with play um <laughs> <clears throat> sorry guys i had this cough for like two weeks straight um and they're just doing a lot of really cool things so um i know more is in the works and um you know i know that um i upset the, the that titano guy david or whatever his name is because he felt that i was lumping in titano with titano forks uh but you know a couple of the titano forks uh project uh devs that i've been talking to they have some cool things going on too so it's just a really cool space and um and yes titano is look you got to give them all the credit right because the titano forks they basically took what titano did and ran with it and they're turning it into something of their own but you know that's what crypto is all about guys it's about innovation it's about kind of you know pushing the technology envelope and seeing what else you can do so you know to just simply just poo poo on any titano fork because it's not titano i think is a little too rigid in thinking and 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 it's against what crypto's about. Crypto's about being open to all ideas and seeing what else you can do. So um, that's about it as far as what I wanted to cover. You know, I I I do. You know, those questions that I had for David that he didn't answer. I think those are legitimate questions um, because that does put a lot of pressure on an asset, right? If your holder amount almost tripled but the price went down, but maybe it's just one of those things where you just had these huge whales, right, that got in from the jump. And they're the ones putting all the sell pressure right now. And once you pass that um, and the holders keep growing or, 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 or keeping steady, then the price will start going up again. I'm not sure. This is very new. Uh, this is a very new kind of asset. And uh, it's really hard to uh, analyze something that's so, so new. But I was just applying some of the things that I know that I consider myself an expert to when applying technical analysis and data to an asset i was just trying to apply some of that to, to this but maybe this project is so fresh so unique that nobody knows um so yeah so that's about it um so as you guys can see the spreadsheet makes it very clear that this uh this project is very legit if it can keep its value um it's going to turn out to be a beautiful beautiful thing um and it's going to be very exciting to see how things turn out and again, just because um, David or whatever his name is, his real name is the face of Titano. I'm sorry, the voice of Titano, because you haven't shown your face. Um, just because he doesn't approve of my videos doesn't mean that I'm not going to make videos about a project that I think is really cool. And that I think their community is really cool and their Discord community is cool. Um, there's just a lot of great things about Titano. So I'm cheering them on, despite uh, David not cheering me on, whatever. Not going to take it personal. And um, yeah, I'll, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.